They protect your rights by revoking them. They defend order through chaos and they keep the peace all to themselves. Welcome to Night Vale. Hello listeners. Have you seen the vertebrates flying overhead? They belong to the sheriff's secret police. I assume many people have at some point asked, who is this sheriff? Who does he work for? What laws is he upholding? But we'll never know for sure. Because such questions imply an inquisitive mind. And those minds are against the law. We are allowed to know the following things about the sheriff. First, that he is real. Second, that he is a he. Third, he keeps his face covered at all times. Fourth, that he is not real. Fifth, that he wears layers upon layers of heavy body armor. Seventh, that he operates from a hover office in the clouds. What happened to sixth? Nothing. Nothing happened on the sixth. The eighth thing we are allowed to know is actually a few things. Here are his special stats. He carries no firearms. He defends us using a baton with a stun pack attached to it. Sometimes, his deputies, whoever he has decided to deputize that day, carry one as well. When both the sheriff and his deputy carry a stun baton, justice is like the day your fish died. You knew you were strong. You knew you were capable. You knew it was just a fish. But you couldn't get up. You just couldn't get up. This comes in handy for the sheriff and his deputy because it means that while administering our required quota of police brutality, the generous giver is not resisted. This is not like the kind of cannot resist that you have with chocolate. This is like the literal kind of cannot resist. I have seen him wearing all kinds of armor, sometimes cobbled together from scrap, other times salvaged from long-forgotten, sunken ships. And sometimes he even dresses like the local riffraff in order to discover secrets. But even though his secret police wear power armor, he never does. This is because... Listeners, I have just been informed that I have distributed too much information about the sheriff. I have just been informed that I have a quota to fill. I leave this carnation on my desk to indicate that I'm taking a short break. Maybe even a compound break. I ask that you try to forget. And good night, Night Vale. Good night.